With Hanukkah starting on Thursday, many folks will be opening gifts and breaking bread. Challah bread, that is. This, of course, is challah. The braided bread is usually served on Jewish holidays, but... You can absolutely cross challah over into savory recipes or sweet recipes. Chef and author of Clean Eating for Busy Families, Michelle Dudash, has a few tasty dishes. Starting with challah French toast. It's stuffed with ricotta cheese and fresh pomegranate arils. In addition to those ingredients, you'll need... Some pumpkin pie spice, vanilla, eggs, and milk. We're cutting a little pocket into the challah bread. And then from here, we're gonna stuff it. For the stuffing, combine ricotta, pumpkin pie spice, and pomegranates. Whip up the milk, eggs, and vanilla, then dip it in and let it sizzle. Perfectly golden. So we flip it, and we'll let that go for another couple minutes. Top with fresh pomegranates and enjoy. Next, challah grilled cheese, which I made and devoured. What is so special about this grilled cheese? It tastes amazing. The main ingredients here, we have our leftover challah bread, some aged white cheddar, tomato, avocado, and then I love to add some pickled ingredients like olives, uh, some mustard, and also some pepperoncini. To assemble this sandwich. First, we slice our challah bread, add our mustard, then we add our avocado. Add the olives, pepperoncinis, cheese, tomato, pepper, salt, and more cheese. To get that crispy outside. You wanna put some kind of fat on your sandwich. In this case, we are using a little bit of ghee. Grill your sandwich on both sides for a couple of minutes and voila. Talk to me about your challah croutons. Croutons make everything better, don't they? You can put them on your salads, on your soups. You can just snack on them. For this crunchy topping, you'll need extra virgin olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, dried thyme leaves, salt, and pepper. This is a great way to use your leftover challah ends. So you just slice this into you know, the size of the crouton that you want. Drizzle them with olive oil, add your spices, and... Pop this in the oven, 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. We are getting in the Hanukkah spirit with challah bread recipes.